Today I'm going to show you how to model a division problem using a tape diagram. So if you have a problem like 21 divided by 7 equals 3, we can model this using a tape diagram. Now I like to do a double tape diagram where we show, so I have two rectangles and I show my total on the top. So in this case, my total is 21. And then in the bottom, I show my boxes and the number in each box. So in the case of division, either one, either the quotient or the divisor can be the number of boxes. In this case, because three is an easier number to draw, I'm gonna say I have three boxes. And then seven would be the number that goes in each box. So this is a model showing 21 divided um, into groups of seven equals three groups. I could also draw it the other way. Make another tape diagram. So my total is still 21. Now I have to make seven boxes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then in this case, I would put a three in each box. So either one of these models could be used to illustrate this division problem. And that's how you make a tape diagram to model a division equation. Now, if you had a problem that you didn't know the answer to, let's say 18 divided by six, and I didn't know the answer, I could use a tape diagram to try to find the answer. So I'll put in what I know. I know that I have 18 total and I know that I have six. Now the six can be the number in each box or it can be the number of boxes. It's easier if I don't know the other number to draw it as the number of boxes. So I'm gonna make six boxes here. And then I'm going to put dots until I get to 18. So I'm at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And so I got to 18 and it's a little messy, but you can see I have three dots in each box. So I know that 18 divided by six equals three. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day.